today in our industrial instrumentation lecture series we will see about one interesting uh, we can say interesting instrument that is digital storage oscilloscope that means dso so here in dso part 1 let us start with introduction in 1897 carl ferdinand braun uh, invented an oscilloscope this scientist is the first person who invented an oscilloscope uh, we all know about the cathode ray oscilloscope which is used for the display and analysis of different types of waveform of electronic signal in the electronic and electrical circuit the dso is also one type of oscilloscope used to display the waveform but the difference between CRO CRO that means cathode ray oscilloscope and DSO that is digital storage oscilloscope is that in DSO the digital signal is converted into analog and that analog signal will be displayed on the screen of the DSO so in the conventional CRO there is a no procedure for the storage of the waveform but in the case of DSO there is a digital memory that is going to store the digital copy of the waveform so now let us see what is digital storage oscillo oscilloscope if we want to define the dso digital storage oscilloscope so how will we define that dso so we can say that the digital storage oscilloscope is an instrument which gives the storage of a digital waveform or the digital copy of the waveform it allows us to store the signal or the waveform in the digital format and in the digital memory also it allows us to do the digital signal processing techniques over that signal so let us start with the block diagram of dso so we can say that the block diagram of the digital storage oscilloscope that means dso consists many block uh, in that block we can see amplifier digitizer memory analyzer circuitry waveform reconstruction vertical plates horizontal plates cathode ray tube that is crt horizontal amplifier time based circuitry trigger and clock so now let us see the block diagram of dso uh, there is a first block that is amplifier the input signal is given to that amplifier then this signal from amplifier is proceed toward the digitizer then it goes to memory then it goes to analyzer circuitry and then waveform reconstruction block is there and vertical plates with the help of vertical plates the signal the waveform is uh, uh, we can say display on the crt now the trigger and clock signal is given to time based circuitry and with the horizontal amplifier the horizontal plate take that signal and it displayed on the crt now this is the block diagram of dso now let us see what is the function of this each block in the dso so we can say that as seen in the above figure as seen in the block diagram the first digital storage oscilloscope digitizes the analog input signal then the analog input signal is amplified by amplifier if it has any weak signal so the first input signal is given to the amplifier that means the amplifier amplifies that signal and uh, we can say uh, amplifies that weak signal and with the help, help of digitizers digitizer circuit that analog signal is converted into digital signal after amplification and digitization the signal is digitized by the digitizer and that digitized signal stored in the memory the analyzer circuit processes the digital signal after that the waveform is reconstructed that means again the digital signal is converted into analog form and then that signal is applied to the vertical plates of the cathode ray tube that means crt so the cathode ray tube has two input they are vertical input and horizontal input the vertical input signal is the y axis and the horizontal input signal is the x axis as we can say there is a 2d diagram and uh, the, the input vertical input signal is indicated the y axis and the horizontal input signal is indicated the x axis the time based circuit is uh, triggered by the trigger and clock input signal so it is going to generate the time based signal which is the ramp signal 
then that ramp signal is amplified by the horizontal amplifier and this horizontal amplifier will provide input to the horizontal plate on the crt on the cathode ray tube screen we will get the waveform of the input signal versus time that means the input signal is on the y axis and the time signal is on the x axis with the help of horizontal and vertical plate we will get the, that waveform in the screen of crt so the digitizing occurs by taking a sample of the input waveform at periodic intervals at the periodic time interval means when half of the time cycle is completed then we are taking the samples of the signal the process of digitizing or sampling should follows the sampling theorem so now let us see what is that sampling theorem so we can say that the sampling theorem says that the rate at which the samples are taken should be greater than twice the highest frequency present in the input signal when the analog signal is not properly converted into digital then there, there occurs an aliasing effect so what is that aliasing effect so here in the waveform we have a two waveform the effect of low sampling frequency the first figure a shows the input signal there are some sample points a b c d e right so when there is some aliased signal is there based on that input signal that aliased signal is shown in the figure b here we can see there is a, a b c d e point right so we can compare that both signal input signal and ali signal so we get the clear idea about that both signal here when the analog signal is properly converted into the digital then the resolution of a to d converter that means analog to digital converter will be decrease when the input signal stored in the analog store register can be read out at much slower rate by the analog to digital converter then the digital output of the ad converter stored in the digital store and it allows the operation up to the 100 mega samples per second this is the working principle of digital storage oscilloscope so from next video we will see more about the dso about the digital storage oscilloscope so in part 2 we will see some of the application of dso some of the advantages of dso and disadvantages of dso and at last we will see about the difference between dso and the conventional storage oscilloscope or we can say analog storage oscilloscope the there is a what kind of difference in between that both we will see in the part